Ranking the powers in Miasma Chronicles. First we have Miasma Storm. Honestly, it's pretty garbage. Its usefulness is significantly hindered by terrain and the amount of enemies who end up being knockback resistant. It just isn't worth any resource investment in combat. D tier. Next, Call of the Grabber. Honestly, it's goaded. The grabbers are so bonkers they heal targets to full health at the end of every turn. Parking this on your backline, make sure they never go down. Throwing this on a tank, make sure they get so much bonus health value. It also serves as a bullet sponge in case uh, your team's getting low, people are knocked down. It just gives you an extra turn where somebody's targeting that S tier. Electro Chain. This is a good ability against robotic enemies as it applies EMP. Being able to chain EMP up to three enemies for two turns is really, really strong, especially later in the game when the number of robotic enemies increases significantly. Unfortunately, outside of uh, robotic enemies though, it's basically useless. For the limited use case while still being strong, B tier. Miasma Blast. Decent power, too short range to be useful on characters that you can give it to. C tier. Mind Worm. Plus one character for you, minus one for enemies. This is very strong, especially if you can get it on a high value target. This rivals Grabber as the best ability in the game as it gives you a net of plus two versus the static net plus one for the Grabber. S tier. Endoskeleton. I don't get this one. Characters that can use Miasma tend to be mid to long range, and as long as your positioning isn't complete trash, you will get much better use from Grabber. Tanks will also generally live through most situations in melee where they would want to be using an ability like this, especially when given the company of the Grabber, which heals them up to max HP at the end of every turn. D tier. Green Fingers, honestly, I didn't feel like I had any reason to use this ability. When it comes to generating units, I would rather have my main party getting full healed at the end of every turn or be stealing enemy units away. Still, it is a unit generator, so we throw it in the A tier. Transmute, with the availability of consumable items in this, this ability just doesn't really seem to make a lot of sense for me. Still, it does technically offer more value than Miasma Storm and Endoskeleton. We'll throw it in C tier. Teleport. I think a lot of what this ability does should be tackled by positioning better, but it is fun and can have a good use every once in a while. C tier. That's my video.